Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely gorgeous um, square. Now you might have seen mosaic squares or spike stitch squares, um, whatever you normally call them, um, made with a traditional granny square but this one is made with the modern granny square so it's a little bit different and um, I was making a blanket with the, the modern granny square and I just wondered what it would look like if I spike the stitch. So I really, really like it. And I'm going to do a tutorial that just shows you how to make this particular square, not a blanket, but you can apply this square to anything you want to make. So for this particular effect, you will need one solid color, which is your main color. Um, which you start with and then you're going to need if you want it to look like this a yarn with a very quick color change so the one I'm using is this Poundland um, there are streamers um, variety but that's the new pastel rainbow one um, this one is the, all the pink colors but they do several but if you don't have this yarn and you have a similar um, yarn that is has a quick color change you will get this effect um, exactly the same but you can use just two solid colors um, and it will just be as as effective it also looks pretty amazing if you use your main color as black but I know not many people like to work with black so I'm going to show you with this kind of cream color and this rainbow yarn um, I, this is a DK weight so I've used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook you will need a darning needle if you don't work your ends in. And I'm going to show you how I work in my ends. Um, you don't have to. I'm hoping it won't get confusing for you. But I do with mine as I go because I am not good at sewing in a ton of ends. And this will give you quite a lot of ends to sew in. If you're happy to sew them in, that's fine. So I've got myself a darning needle and um, a pair of scissors. So let's get started. If While I'm clearing all this away, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll come straight back when we're ready to start. Okay, so for this particular square, I like a little circle in the centre. So I'm just going to start with a slip knot. You can do that however you normally do and make a chain of four. So in this tutorial, I am just assuming that you know how to do all of these stitches. Um, and I'm, if not, I do have beginners course, which I will link um, above. Um, there's a right handed and a left handed version of my beginners courses with all of these stitches in. So now I've got my four chain. I'm going to slip stitch into this first one to make a very small ring. Now, don't worry if it looks very small at the moment. It will get a little bigger, but this part here is our center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop because I'm going to do a stack starting stitch. So in the UK, it's a stack double crochet. In the US, it's a stack single. So now I have my two loops. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both of those. And now I'm going to insert my hook in this side um, loop here yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. I've recently done some videos that show the stack uh, in all the different stitches. So if you want to see those, I'll put a link at the end of this video when all the videos pop in. So now this is considered my first stitch. We would normally have done two chain to get up to the right level. So now I'm going to, in this center ring, make two UK trebles or US double crochets. without splitting the yarn, hopefully. Okay, so this is my first part. I'm going to chain one, and now in the same space, in the same ring, I'm going to do three more. So this is the start of a traditional granny square. They're exactly the same. I am working over the tail, because as I said to you, I hate sewing my ends in. One more chain and another three. one chain okay if you have to pull it aside a little bit that's fine just do my last 
three in here. Okay, so now I need to join it into a ring. And traditionally, for me, I make a seam free granny square. But with this one, I'm, I'm not really that fussed. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my stack. And I'm going to go through the two loops just like you would if it was a normal stitch and do a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one, cinch it right down and end off. Cut my yarn and pull it through. Okay, so it's going to get endy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tail that I've worked over already, get rid of that. And I'm going to change colour. So I'm going to take off my cream coloured yarn and put that over here and I'm going to bring in my colour. Okay so as you can see with this yarn you can see how quick these colour changes are and that's what I really that's why I got that effect with this. I'm just going to have to wipe my hook because I feel like it is squeaking a little bit. I'm rather warm in here today. Okay white. So I'm going to join my yarn opposite end to this one. I'm just going to insert my hook. This is how I do my joins. It doesn't matter if you don't. You can join however you normally would. But you want it in the centre of a chain space, right in the centre part. Okay, so I'm going to insert my hook and do one chain and cinch it right down. And that's how I do my join. I don't like them ever coming open. So now I'm just going to insert into that chain space and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both. And that is half of my corner. Now, what I normally do is I just have my hook draped, my, my yarn, sorry, draped over my hook and make my first chain and chain one more. Now that yarn is coming with me and I'm going to do a UK double US single in the next chain space. And I'm working over that tail. I'm going to chain three and do another one in the same space, working over the tail. Okay, so now we have two chain between and three chain in our corner. So I'm gonna trap that yarn again, just putting it over my hook as I make my first chain. And then do another chain, two again, and now we're going to go into this next uh, chain space. I'm going to work over that tail again. And I'm going to chain three. And do one more working over that tail. Now that's sufficiently disappeared so I can snip it off. So let me show you what we have. Our corner, this is half a corner. Our corners are three chain spaces. Between, this is our side, it has two. And we've got another corner there with three. So now I'm going to work over this yarn. And how do I do that? Okay, well, I insert my hook into a stitch and I just pull it through. It's now come with me. So I'm chaining two. Don't worry, if you don't want to do this, it's perfectly fine. Now working over the tail, I'm going to do my first stitch into there, three chain, and my next three. Sorry, my next one after my three. I'm going to just insert my hook and bring that tail along with me to the next space. Now I'm going to chain two, and here we are at the next space. I'm gonna finish this corner with my, my stitch, my three chain and now I'm going to slip stitch into my first UK double crochet US single crochet which is here and end off this yarn. I'm having trouble getting it through. Why are you not coming through? Is it because there's a camera between us? Yes it is. Okay so I'm going to do one chain, cinch it right down and cut my yarn. Now I've worked over that tail, <clears throat> excuse me, I've gone dry. 
worked over that tail so I'm snipping it off getting it out of the way because we don't want too many uh, making us confused as to where we're going so that's how I work over my ends you don't have to as I say you can just have lots and lots of tails to sew in if that's what you prefer I'm now going to bring in my first color again and again I want to join it in a different corner so I'm going to join into the center of my corner exactly the same as before bring my yarn in and I'm going to do my little knot right in the middle there we are okay so we're going to do half a corner insert my hook bring my yarn through make my cinch down chain so now I'm going to do my stack stitch again so I'm going to insert pull up my loop yarn over and pull through both in this one side insert my hook yarn over pull up the loop and go through so now I'm going to do two more in this um, corner but on my last one I'm going to carry my yarn of course you don't have to I'm going to do my first okay so now I've pulled up my loop I just loop over it's not going to carry it through it's just going to bring it with me so now it's up here and I'm going to finish off my stitch and I have my yarn up here so now we're going to go into this side um, we've been in the corner we're going to go into here now between these two chains and our three stitches don't worry if it pulls tight it won't do once we start making stitches into there so I'm going to use my yarn as well I'm going to yarn over and make sure like before this is draped over it before I over my yarn and I'm going to go in between here working over that tail I'm going to pull up my loop and make my stitch and I, all I do now is I pull on this a little bit just to bring it in line it might be a little puffy so I just pull it so that it looks the same as any other stitch so now we're going to work into this stitch here in our three we have one where are we one two three you can I know cream is a difficult color to see them but believe me black's worse so we've got one two three we're going to do a UK double treble, which is a treble crochet in the US. So we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to drop down to this row, insert in between the first and the second and bring our hook through the second and the third. And we're going to yarn over and pull it round the back of that stitch. We're going to pull it up. Ignore the tail for now. We're going to pull it up, go through two, yarn over go through two yarn over and go through two so we've made this long spike stitch now working over the tail I'm going to make one more UK treble crochet in there so it is actually still long enough to take with me so I'm going to loop that over remember it's not going through the stitch I'm going to yarn over and then yarn over again so it's there up the top with me again Okay, so I'm going to loop it again and go into my corner, make my first stitch. So the first time I pull through all of those loops and then I've got my last two. And I give this a little pull to make sure it's buried nicely. Now I'm just gonna work over it and this will be the last time I have to work over this yarn. So I'm going to do two more um, UK trebles, US doubles over the tail as I go one chain and three more and that will be the end of that little tail if it's confusing for you don't worry it does become much easier as time goes on okay so now we've got half a corner we have our spike and we've got a full corner now in this chain space between our three and um and the chains we're going to do one UK treble crochet US double then we're going to do a double treble which is a treble US and we're going to go there's our first there's our second 
and our third. We're going to go between the first and the second and up between the second and the third. We're going to yarn over, pull that yarn around the back and up. And now we're going to pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then pulling that aside, you can still see where you have to place your third one. And that's what it's looking like. So now we're back at the corner and we're just going to make a nice simple corner, which is three, one chain in between and another three. Okay. So now I have another tail to work over. And just as before, I insert my hook and just pull the loop through. And it's now in the space to work over. Okay, so I'm going to do my first one as before. And then my spike between these two stitches. Can be a little fiddly. And then pulling this aside, you can see where you have to place it. I'm going to work over the tail at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to just pull this through this tail to get it into that corner. This particular um, stitch doesn't bury the yarn as well, but that's, I think that's enough actually. So now I'm going to work over my corner. And once I get to the end of the corner, because I've now worked over it with six stitches, I'm going to just snip that end off. Okay. And that way it won't be there confusing us. For me, much easier than having lots to sew in at the end. So now we've got our last spike um, side. And we're going to go in as we have done all the way around. Go around the back of this stitch. One more. If you have to pull it over, that's fine. Now we're going to complete our corner with three in this particular corner. I'm going to chain one and just go into the top of our stack to complete the round. I've worked lots of ways and tried to incorporate colour changes into this and it's this is by far the easiest way. So now we have this centrepiece. So we're going to do um, the next round and then as we as we kind of increase, then we'll be increasing our spikes to make this effect. Now, if you wanted to, you could just spike into a cross and leave all the rest free. It's just a matter of playing with it, really. So now I'm going to remove the cream coloured yarn. I'm using a, a wool genie if you wonder what I'm doing. Um, these are amazing. So much so that I had to stock them in my shop. Hobbyrocks.co.uk if you haven't found it already. And uh, all of the stuff that I'm using, you can find in that shop. There's a link in the description box. So I'm just going to join my new colour. And as I said before, don't worry. If you can't do the working your yarn as you go, that's fine. Just do your normal chain, uh, your normal sewing in of ends. Okay, so we're back at the corner. And just as before, we're going to do a UK double or US single. And over this, just make sure it's over my hook when I do my first chain, my second chain, and then it comes with me. So now we're going to go in between our sets of three. And again, I'm going to just make sure that it's over. We're going to chain two and we're going to go between 
our sets of three again. I'm working over the tail as well as um, incorporating it as I go. So there we are. I'm just going to loop it over to chain and now I'm at my corner. So I'm working over that tail. And in the corner, we're still doing our three chain and then another. So I've worked enough over that corner. There's a tiny little end for me to snip off. I'll do that soon. Chain two between our sets of three. Chain two between our sets of three. Chain two back at the corner. Chain three one more in that corner and again this is where I just insert my hook to take this yarn across to the next uh, part where I'll work over it okay so that's all I'm going to do all the way around until I get back to my very first half a corner so I'm going to pause the video and I want you to do that. And don't forget to take the yarn with you if you're doing that. If not, um, never mind. I will see you back at the start again. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. And I'm going to complete my corner. My three chain. And then slip stitch into the top of my very first UK double US single. Chain one, cinch it down snip off and there we are so in this next round we're going to start increasing the size of our spike stitch that's just a bit of an end that I need to sew off there I pull I mean um, snip off but that's what we're going to do in the next round so I'm just going to change my yarn over again move this one out the way so just like before, opposite side, I'm going to join my cream colour yarn into the centre of this corner. So I'm still doing my seamless corners where I can to um, so you don't see the joins, but I'm not changing colour at the same corner or, um, you know, I, I prefer just ending off. So there we are, I've, jo I've joined my new yarn i'm going to just do my very first stack in there which we've done a few times already so i don't need to show you two more and in the last one i'll carry the yarn and now we're going to go through this stack but we're also going to pull up um a a spike stitch on here so we're going to go through this spike I mean and then we're going to make a new one so in this side we've got two chain space here I'm going to do I'm going to bring my yarn with me I nearly forgot I'm going to do my first UK treble US double don't forget to pull that if you're doing it I'm going to yarn round twice and in the center of these three below I'm going to go around that stitch Pull it up through two, through two, and through two. And then I'm going to go back into that two chain space, work over that tail, and make another. That's going to be it for me for the um, working over my yarn this time. I'm just going to snip that off because I think it's going to get confusing with too many ends around. That one belongs down there. Okay, so now we're in this next part of the side. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to do our first one. And then we're going to go round the back of the actual spike stitch. And we're going to yarn and pull up. Exactly the same as before. So we're just extending this one. And then we're going to go back in the same space and complete our three and then in the next one we're going to do the same as we did over here we're going to do one we're going to make our 
elongated spike into the row below. Oops. And then one more in the same space. Be careful you don't get confused and go in the corner. Just complete our three. So now we have three spikes in this particular side. So I'm going to make my corner as normal. If I go too fast for you, then just pause it and catch up with me. I wanted to get through this part because you've seen the corner so many times. It's just a traditional granny corner. Now we're going to do the same as we did over here. We're going to do our first stitch. We're going to do our spike in the row below. Have I got a knot? I have a little bit of a yarn breakage knot. There we go, I don't know why that happened. It's not very nice, but I'm just gonna have to work over it. Um, there we are. Okay, and I wouldn't normally do that, but I'm in the middle of a tutorial. I don't really want to have to undo it and get rid of it. Going into the spike again. And then one back in the same space. And now we're going to make our new, new spike. In the center of those three below. Don't forget to pull it up a little bit, even though you are doing a UK double treble or a US treble, you still need to pull it up because it will sag down if you don't. So now you can see we're getting this, this really cool kind of um, vibe going on. So we're going to do a normal corner again. In our little corner space. And now we've got that pesty tail again it's a nice easy one to bury though this time round we're just going to pull that that's the beauty of this yarn changing color very quickly it just buries nicely okay so now we're going to work over that one and we're going to do our spike in this row below I'm going to work over that tail. Okay, so let's have a look. And that's what we're going to do all the way around now. I'll move that tail out of the way because it's going to be a bit confusing. So we're going to make our spike and then we're going to go round the back of this spike on this particular part. Always take care to make sure you're going in the right parts of your... Um, this row because they are only two chain spaces then we're going to make our corner again we're going to make a spike we're going to go into this one and then we're going to make a spike i'll catch up with you when i get back to this corner okay so i'm all the way back i've done my very last spike i'm going to finish my corner exactly the same as before my one chain go into the top of my stack stitch and end off this okay so now we've made a cute little square and from that point on we are just going to do exactly the same so on the next round if you want to do another round um you again create the spike in in this one so it grows each time so you start off with one the next time it's three and then the time after that is five so it will increase like that every time you go around i don't think we need to do any more together so that's just need to carry on in the same way but uh, thank you for watching. And as I said before, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I hope you have a lot of fun 
um, playing with this. Like I said before, if you didn't spike here, you would just get across, and I think that would be quite effective as well. So just, um, just give you something to play with. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.